no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be starting on cultivating finally. Um, starting on getting this ground one step closer to planting. One step closer to harvest too, I guess. So this definitely should not take anywhere near as long as uh, the plowing did. Uh, that really didn't take all that long either, but it did take a fair amount of time. And I see that uh, this thing is already getting pretty dirty, and only it doesn't take very long for it to uh, have dirt on it. That's okay though, I guess. definitely shouldn't take anywhere near as long as uh, the plowing. This should only take a couple of videos. Of course I will do some of it off camera as well. Just kind of help speed things along a little bit. But I mean basically about as much as I did uh, much off-camera cultivating as I did off-camera plowing so it won't be a whole lot is definitely going by pretty quick I think about one pass of this is like at least two passes with the plow or with the ripper whatever you like to call it I guess it plows the ground so it's a plow I think I don't know everybody calls it something different I guess or I would be calling something a plow somebody else could call it a chisel or a ripper or whatever whatever they feel like calling it just take a look here once at our uh menu so we got all of our fields plowed cultivated all right there is a whole lot of corn on this map holy smokes anybody that uh, plays this map without seasons mod all they see is corn for a long time I think be nice for like if you're starting out you know, like you're not doing uh, seasons mod and then you're doing dairy cattle you could make a lot of silage pretty quick this definitely would be a good map for like multiplayer and stuff and have you know you get like maybe four people together 
can have uh, two people combining, person running grain cart, and a person running trucks or something like that. You know, that's if you're in harvest and you get four people. Or you could even do it with three. You know, have a combine driver, a cart driver, and a truck driver. And then, you know, that truck driver is also running the bins and stuff. Or if you're doing, like, silage, you know, you could get three people together at least. You could have one pack in the pit, one running the chopper, and one running a truck. Or you could even have two people run a truck and have, uh, you know, a hired worker running the chopper. And you could really run then. And basically you almost never have that chopper stop. It's like the perfect size too. You know, you got some small fields where you get, you know, you got maybe, you know, you could run like a small operation and get maybe two, three people together and, you know, kind of get stuff done a little bit fast there too or you got to run like the big operation. Kind of endless possibilities there. And it is even good in single player, you know, like the way that we're running right now, you know, running smaller, you know, sitting pretty good. And even where, you know, I'm running single player on that large save game, that I can even get by pretty well on, you know, if, if I didn't have course play, I think I would go nuts with like how much work there would be to do. Um, you know, I remember the days of 2000, you know, Farm Sim 2011 and not having course play. There was no such thing as auto combine or auto tractor or, you know, a lot of things barely even had hired worker on them. And a lot of times, even if they did, it wasn't that great. Uh, definitely a lot different nowadays. Things are <laughs> way nicer. You, know, you got course play, you got... I don't think 17... 17 doesn't have auto combine or auto tractor yet, anyways. But, I mean... A lot of things have a hired worker on them now. Even more now than in 15, even. Yeah, it's just crazy. Okay, so we got to go to our checklist here. Okay, so field 28, 29, we can put check for being plowed. Uh, we can put check there. We're going to head to field 27 next. We'll plow that one, or cultivate that one up next. I'm actually going to kind of sneak across the grass here and get into this field. Got a little area here anyways, so might as well use it. I think we're going to kind of clip this post a little bit. Yeah, just slightly. For as much as I've used this tractor, it is still pretty full on fuel, which is awesome because I mean, fuel is expensive. <laughs> Even in farm sim, it's pretty expensive. Alright, here's where it's going to get a little bit sketchy as close to this fence as I can without hitting it, which right there is about good, so I can just stay right where I'm at. I know I probably should do some headlands or something, but uh, I'd just kind of like to get the cultivating done. I will have to, on uh, that end, at least do, like, one headland. Oh, really? Oh, I 
guess it's not as big of a spot as I thought it was. Okay. I guess I could have left it, but. even get this field done in this video if we can manage that that'd be incredible definitely have uh, no rain or anything in sight right now we have one day where it's a little bit cloudy from what it shows but uh, otherwise everything's gonna be pretty nice so as long as it stays that way for harvest as well uh, we should be pretty good because if it rain get it's really rainy while we're harvesting. We'll be kind of shut down for a while. Of course, we don't want it to get rainy if we make hay either, because uh, then we'll just kind of go rotten a little bit. But, or not rotten, but it will. Well, I guess it kind of does a little bit. Like, you lose hay if it gets wet uh, like the amount in it goes down and like how much it goes down just sure depends on how much rain it gets how, how long it gets rained on and stuff I'm sure the longer it rains on it the less hay that you'll have done in this video if we don't get all of it done I suppose I could just set my cruise control instead of uh, having to hold my foot on the gas the entire time really well I would uh, I would guess maybe just a little bit one good thing though about uh, you know talking about uh, the large farm save game on this map um, one good thing about like having course play running fields and stuff is once I get where like let's say you know the two fields that I'm going to be planting in wheat once those are fully cultivated and plowed and stuff I can just go hop in a planter and I can start planting right away because I don't have to worry about still plowing or even going to cultivating or anything like that I can just let course play handle that and all I gotta do is just move it when it gets done and otherwise you know it'll handle everything else and I can just work on planting and turn my focus to that 
which is really helpful um, to be able to do. Raise up. I'm gonna try and get this all picked up here. if we can get this entire little strip here or not so much little strip but the entire strip which we can perfect otherwise I'd have had to go gone all the way back to the other end of the field just to pick up a little piece and that would have been kind of annoying to have to do but now we just got a little bit left of this field and then we're done with half of the cultivating already in somewhere around a half hour probably only another half hour or so left of cultivating but we can just about finish everything else up in another video which would be totally awesome then when it comes to planting there will be a good few videos of that because that'll take a fairly decent amount of time to do with as uh, small as our equipment is maybe we'll take a look maybe we can just buy something a little bit bigger right now I don't know I know we did look in one video I did go look for some stuff too like I had mentioned I would but I just there's really nothing out there uh, for 17 and I don't know how to convert stuff I never knew how to convert 13 mods to 15 either I would just like completely re-script it if it was something that I could script I mean if I wanted you know like I had a couple of vehicle mods I think I don't even remember anymore now, but you know, anything that I had that I wanted to convert from 13, I would just basically run it through Blender and then re-script it. I think I had like a bunch of them lined up, a bunch of project line, bunch of projects lined up of stuff to like take from 13 and redo and put into 15, but I just never really did any of them. Maybe there's a few of those items that I can take and use for 17 here. Use to learn on with those or something. Alright, that is another field down. So, wow. We're, we're under 20 minutes yet, so... Okay. Check. We might even be able to start planting tomorrow, believe it or not. Because we should be able to get a good portion of field 15 done, or 55. Uh, get a good portion of that done, and then whatever we don't get done on field 55, I'll finish off camera. So that way we just have that 28-29 combo left. And there is a little spot to drive in. Huh. I totally missed it before. Yeah, this cultivator is definitely making short work of our fields, which is great. If only our plow had actually done that too. That would have really been awesome, but that didn't take all that long either. And 
let's actually take a moment here. Let's take a look at sewing machines once. So we could get like that for a corn planter maybe. So this is only nine meters. Hmm. I'll decide on something. Well, what's what's the horsepower rating, I guess? We should probably look at that. 270 and 180. So that would mean this guy would have to run both of those as well. Which is... I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I guess, you know, thinking 9 meters... I would really take out a chunk, but uh, we'll just work with what we got for now and build up to that. Actually, I guess we don't have to go that big. We could use the Vatterstad stuff, but even this requires 180 horsepower. So we can't even run that yet. Because our, other than this, our biggest horsepower tractor is 125. So we'd be about 15 horsepower short to run the corn planter, for the Batterstad corn planter. And um, we'd be a lot short to run the drill. So it's kind of, at the moment, impossible without having to get another tractor and so we don't really need to get another tractor we've got three already so we don't really need another tractor but what we've got will get us through this season it may take a little bit of time but it'll get us through the season season I guess I'm not going to worry about that a little bit. I'd say I'll do some in-cab work, but not with this cultivator. <laughs> Once things get too large, it's kind of hard to do in-cab work. I mean, like, if it's something that's out in front, like, you know, with a combine where you're running the header, that isn't too difficult that one actually is pretty easy to do in cab most of the time unless like the edge of the header is right where like a piece of the cab is and so then you can't see around that piece of the cab that gets really annoying i've had that happen so many times and it just it drives me nuts because you know combining is one of those things that's pretty easy to do in cab and it's in you know, I enjoy doing combining in cab, but then you go to where you can't because of the cab, so then you have to go out of cab or else use GPS, and I mean, I do use a lot of GPS for combining as well, but... Wouldn't really have to.
sorry that I really don't have much to talk about in this video. That's kind of the bad thing about uh, when you got to get a few videos recorded is it kind of run out of things to talk about. I was asked today by the uh, owner of the group that this tractor and cultivator were released in. Uh, I was asked by him, or well, I guess he really didn't kind of ask, he just you know, said it would be kind of neat um, to do a mod review on all of this stuff. So I think I might have one of those out. Um, I suppose I'll probably have already had it out by now. So. Um, I'm doing a review on all the stuff in the packs and uh, you know showing where to find it and all that stuff so that probably has already gone up provided that I did it I guess because uh, of course today is Monday for me as you can see up in the top and you guys are seeing this video on Thursday so, quite a big difference uh, in between things there. So, even making pretty good time on this field here. Uh, I am kind of curious to see just how big this cultivator is. So let's use GPS to tell us here. The auto generate something. So 12 meters. So it's actually pretty uh, pretty large. I don't know how many feet it would be, but Glad that it's picking that up. So I'm just going to use GPS because why not? Make these line, make these uh, passes a little straighter, I guess. And then we can go in cab as well. This is a very good sized cultivator actually. It's making uh, perfect work of our small fields here. And it helps too that it can be run at about 10 miles an hour. Um, so we're two mile an hour faster than plowing and we are how much bigger wow we're about twice the size of the plow too in fact we are twice the size so it is you know two passes one pass of this is two passes of the plow so we're you know we're twice the size of the plow and we're going two miles an hour faster so it's really cutting down the time I mean, if it, uh, if we were to be running eight miles an hour and still only at, you know, six meters, we would not be even, uh, close to as far done as we are. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I will finish off this field because there's really not a whole lot more left to it. It's about halfway done already. Uh, I'll finish this off, and I'll go around... Uh, hmm. 
I'll go around field 28 um, twice just to get it opened up and then tomorrow we can um, uh, we can cultivate that field and hopefully get that done in tomorrow's video and maybe even get started on some planting so yeah uh, but anyway that's going to do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as all the links to my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we will see you tomorrow.